health and wellness seems to be a real hot topic now. So we're really focusing on healthy options and probably some of the real uh, hot items right now where it's gluten free. A real trend, likely no coincidence, just over a month into the new year towards eating healthy has emerged in the Mile Zero City. But it's not something that developed overnight with many in the area constantly looking for ways to stay healthy and clean. Those looking for more information and products can attend the Health and Wellness Expo happening at the Encana Event Center on Saturday. There's going to be a number of exhibitors and vendors showcasing things from food to exercise to anything pertaining to health and wellness. The Dawson Creek Health Food Center will be at the event. Owner Devin Griffiths says she's noticed a real movement towards natural items. Raw organic foods that we have in the store, a lot of people are really aware of what they're putting into their body right now. We can't keep our turmeric, our turmeric root on the shelf. People want to make antioxidant drinks. They want to use coconut oil. Both the co-op and health food center say most of the items they'll have at the expo will be locally made from Western Canada and BC. The expo in its second year is planning to be bigger and better, making things a little more interactive. I think that uh, the offering will be more diverse. Um, last year we did a speaker series, which this year has uh, developed into a demo speaker and free fitness class uh, series. Morgan adds that along with their vendors, there will be a number of nonprofits at the event that can help you stay healthy and active. Not for profits that uh, put on a lot of programming uh, within kind of underneath the health and wellness umbrella uh, that people can do, and some of it is workshops and some of it is just one time classes. The Health and Wellness Expo is on Saturday at the Encana Event Center beginning at 10 a.m. Admission is by donation to the Dawson Creek Hospital Foundation. Derek Lightfoot, CJDC-TV News, Dawson Creek.